Welcome back everyone and now let's go ahead and look at our sky cam from Cahoma County. Again, beautiful weather all around the Delta this morning. Now in some parts of the Delta, the sky was completely clear earlier, but a few more clouds have already begun to move into the area. Now we have this beautiful photo from Wayside yesterday afternoon. Great views on the first day of summer, which again was yesterday. Thank you, Olivia Klein, for sharing that. And also we have another one. This was of the sunset last night in Mount Bayou. Thank you, Rose McKnight, for that beautiful picture. And then Millie White Coleman sent this one in from Indianola. Cute cumulus clouds. Thanks for that one. Cody Thomas has this great evening sky photo. This was taken just east of Shaw. Thanks for that. Sean Lockridge, he captured nature's beauty. Look at this stunning sunset over Lake Washington and Glen Allen yesterday evening. Thank you, Sean Lockridge, for that one, and Melanie Riley for this pretty pic of the sky in Winona last night. Livy Klein shared this beautiful sunrise photo from Wayside, and Tim Horton shared this beautiful view of the sun shining on the flag and just a nice clear sky in Drew this morning. So thank you, everyone. And now let's go ahead and get into yesterday's almanac. Greenville and Greenwood both reached 89 degrees, and the low temps were at 70. Now, we did have just a little bit of rain for parts of our area yesterday, mainly just east of I-55. So we were talking about this nearby low pressure system that was over Alabama and Georgia. We were looking at the possibility of that nearby system bringing some moisture and some rain into the area. So that was going on again basically from Montgomery County, Grenada and Atala County yesterday evening. But that rain cleared out and we just had some drier weather returning late last night and during the overnight hours. As of now this morning, just seeing some rain moving through parts of northern Louisiana and also just near Texarkana as well. Now looking at the rest of your forecast, it's 73 in Greenville this morning. Winds are out of the northeast at 8 miles per hour. And over in Greenwood, there are 74 with northeasterly wind flow at 7 miles per hour. Taking a wider look at our temps here in the Delta, we see 76 in Vicksburg, Monroe, 72 in Tunica, 74 over in Pine Bluff, and 73 for Tupelo. And then we also have our dew points still in the upper 60s to low 70s. Winds are from the northeast at 8 in Vicksburg, easterly northeasterly at 8 in Monroe, and northeasterly at 5 in Bastrop, Louisiana. So the Mississippi River level is at 12.4 feet for this morning, but its level should rise a little bit more so over the next few days to get to about 13 feet as we start off next work week. So today is another great day to hang out by the pool. Again, make sure you wear your sunscreen if you do have plans to spend a lot of time outdoors for today, whether it's for fun or for your job. And our temperatures will be reaching the upper 80s once again. And we've already seen a little bit more cloud cover building in for this morning. So we'll just continue with a partly cloudy sky for the rest of our Tuesday, rest of our Thursday, excuse me. And winds will be from the north, northeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. And then overnight lows will be in the upper 60s, mostly clear sky, still a little bit breezy. And then for your Friday, we'll be getting just a little bit warmer with high temps getting into the low 90s. So now looking at your future tracker, we've been talking about that system. That's still off to our east. We're seeing it over Georgia, but that system's going to continue to shift a little bit away from the area for today, away from the Tennessee Valley area. But over the last couple of days, we were talking about that possibly bringing some rain in. So just like what happened yesterday when Grenada and the eastern edge of the Delta and parts of northeast Mississippi received a little bit of rain yesterday, that could possibly happen again for today. And then for the next couple of days, we're just looking at drier weather to return, hotter weather as well, especially as we'll start to have high pressure building in again. And that high pressure moving in will allow for us to have more southerly wind flow returning into the area. And that southerly wind flow bringing that warm Gulf air into our area, which will help it to get hotter and also more humid. Now, a cold front could move into the area by early next week, and we could possibly start to get some rain moving in ahead of that cold front. Now, rain chances aren't too high, but we're seeing a 20% chance for your Sunday and also for Monday. But again, with that high pressure returning and warmer air returning as well, we'll see our temperatures rising into the mid-90s. 96, 95, not ready for that. Now, you know how we talk about how there's literally a day for everything. Mm -hmm. The street continues. <laughs> Today <laughs> is National Onion Ring Day. What? Onion ring? I do like onion I rings. I love onion rings. <laughs> from Burger King. With their, with their ranch, they have a really good ranch at Burger King. Yeah, what you, what's it like, a remoulade sauce? What? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that the name of the sauce? Like for the for, They have a special sauce for their onion rings. Was yeah. They call it tangy sauce. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I'm talking about the ranch. Okay, the ranch sauce. Yeah, the ranch sauce with, with the onion rings. I never had ranch with onion rings. The only sauce I've had, whether it's from Burger King or anywhere else, some kind of, 
Whatever is mixed together to make remoulade, that's what I be having with onion rings. Probably something from New Orleans. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I, I think about. everybody, don't everybody do it everywhere? I don't know. I have no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> Just being very honest with you. So I'm going to assume that something from New Orleans. <laughs> now let's look at today's Fox Business Briefs. 